Hey guys, welcome back to Vertice Models. Today I'm going to be painting Watch Captain Artemis. It'll be a quick and simple scheme. And the first color we'll be using is Uniform Gray. And basically, all I'm doing with Uniform Gray is just creating that highlight where I want the light to be. And we're using this through an airbrush just to create that gradual fade from light to dark. And just building on top of it. Next we'll be using ash gray and I water this down like one one part paint, two parts water. And you know this will allow me to also gradually build that color up. But at the same time, uh, we're not being accurate with this step. We're just putting it where we think it needs to go. So everywhere, you know, I want the sword to be glowing, so everywhere I think that light from the sword would be hitting and at the same time we're creating a focal point between that blade and his chest and all the ornate details on it and his face so it's a slow build up when you paint with wet paint like that but that's what we're looking like Next we'll be basing the gun metal and I mainly just do this quick and easy, you know, with uh, just brushing it on there, catching all the high details on it. We're really using the, uh, you know, the black primed model to our advantage. We're just popping out all the highlights on the raised bits. Next we're using red wash and the Vallejo washes, they like to dry like really matte and give a uh, give a tarnished look. But we're just using this through an airbrush catching all that highlighting that we did. We're basically just putting a filter on the whole thing like a red tint. Next we're using the black game ink and I'll water this down as well. One part paint, two parts water. Really thin and we're just uh, you know adding to the contrast, making the armor darker, making our highlights pop out more. And with it being thin, everything that we did, you know, it, it, it won't take away from it. Next we're using the blue wash and we're just doing this on his, uh, his metal arm, his death watch arm. And then we just went back with the, uh, the gun metal after that dried and just catching all the edges. Next we're basing the trim with the polished gold. And this is all, everything on his pad, uh, the ornate bits on his uh, chess piece, uh, his uh, iron halo on his backpack, the hilt on his sword, and then we'll be using the red wash again and washing over all the polished gold. I really like the way that looks when that red dries. Like I said, it gives it a, a matte, um, varnished look. And with these techniques, it's like very minimal paint can go a long way when you do like a gradual build up like this. I uh, went ahead and based all the uh, the bits that would be tan or bone color with a uh, skeleton bone and then uh, the gun and his cape, I just used the uh, red gaming to thin that down. And now we're just going back with straight black ink, no thinning, 
just to base the uh, the joints and the piping on his face. This will break our model up a bit. Next we'll be using the flesh wash. This is just to add skin tone to his face. Then after that, we're going to be using some effects paint by Turbo Door uh, Blue Raspberry and Afterburner. And we're going to be using this on this, uh, this combi flamer. This stuff's really runny uh, and it's pretty glittery until after it draws. And then uh, you can uh, mat it down with a wash. So we're just using the blue raspberry right on top of it, the afterburner. And it gives a, a really cool like burnt metal look. And then we'll be using the uh, red wash on top of that. Next, we're just using straight matte white and just adding highlights. So on the sword, catching all the edges, and then I'll, uh, you know, where I think the light would hit, just like we did with the ash gray, except for we're working with just straight paint here. We're just adding, uh, you know, that final highlight on his armor bits and where I think the light would reflect off of his armor or off his face. be using orange fire through an airbrush and gradually building up that glow on a sword and letting the overspray catch all the highlights and stuff we did on his face and armor. And then we'll be using the red ink again. And once again, I'll thin this down uh, one to two with water. And this will seal the deal. We'll put this on everywhere we hit with the uh, orange fire. So on his chest piece, uh, on his face, on the end of his gun there. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's quick and simple. And like I said, you, we're just building off of uh, gradients, keeping the paint thin, and you'll get cool results like this. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Peace.